So let's have a go at this geometric sequence example problem. The third term in a geometric sequence is 100, and the fifth term is 400. Find the common ratio R, and the first term A, and the nth term for the sequence. So we're given here that the third term, T sub 3, which equals A by R, A being the first term, R being the common ratio to the power of 3 minus 1, which equals a by r squared. So remember that's from the rule that the nth term can be expressed as a by r to the power of n minus 1. So we're given that this is equal to 100. We've got similarly t sub 5 equals a r. The index should be 4. So 5 minus 1 equals 4 equals 400. So with this info we need to find the value of A and we need to find the value of R. So fundamentally we're comparing terms here and one way to compare them is to take the ratio of the two terms. So let's take the ratio or let's divide T5 by T3. Okay I'm not a fan of this orange let's change to a uh, magenta color. So we have AR to the power of 4 divided by AR squared which equals 400 over 100. So let's just consider this part of this equation. I can cancel two zeros straight away on the right hand side. An A cancels with an A and that simplifies down to r squared equals 4, which means that r, if we take the square root of 4, has two possible values, so positive or negative 2. All right, so we've got two possible values for the common ratio, and that means there is two possible values, a positive or a negative value, for each of the odd number terms except for the first term, a. And now we can substitute this result back into T3 to solve for A. So let's do that. We've got T3 equals A by R, which is positive or negative 2, squared equals 100. So that implies that A, if we do the calculation, positive or negative 2 squared is always a positive. And that comes out to equal 4. We've got A times 4 equals 100. And therefore, A is equal to 100 divided by 4 equals 25. So this is our second piece of the puzzle. Finally, we're asked to find the nth term. So from here, T sub n, the nth term, is given by A, which is 25, by R. I'm just going to leave it as positive or negative 2. It doesn't look very elegant, but for convenience sake, let's just leave it like that. And then we have to the power of N minus 1. Okay, so if we take the positive value for R, so positive R, the sequence will look like 25, the starting number, Multiply that by 2, the second term will be 50, third term is 100, 200, and 400, and so forth. If we take the negative value for R, the series will look like 25, starts off with the same number, the second term will be negative 50. So I made a mistake earlier when I said the odd number terms would be negative, it's actually the even number terms by the virtue that we have n minus 1. So the even terms will have an odd power, which means they will be negative. Third term will be 100, negative 200, 400, and so forth. So for negative values of r, we'll get an alternating sequence of positive and negative terms. Okay, that'll do it for this video. If you found it helpful, give me a like. Share it with your study mates on social media. Make this channel famous.
Subscribe to the channel for more videos that will help you with your studies. If you have any questions, use the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer whatever questions you have. For now, best of luck with your studies and I'll see you on the next video.